If you're studying for the MCAT, this will help you know when and when not to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. You want to use an ice table anytime you have a weak acid in solution and nothing else. So there's no conjugate base in solution, only the weak acid. And then that weak acid will dissociate and create a small amount of the conjugate base. But the only source of the conjugate base comes from the weak acid. And when that's the case, you use an ice table and then you plug in the values at equilibrium into Ka to find your H3O plus concentration. For the Henderson-Hasselbalch, there are two different situations where it's applicable. The first one is when you're starting off with a weak acid and that solution has some of its conjugate base added. And the conjugate base is added by being attached to a positive ion like sodium that will totally dissociate once it's in solution. So for example, if we add 0.1 moles of sodium in our conjugate base, then we will have 0.1 moles of the conjugate base to start off with if we were to do an ice table for this. And if you ever have an ice table that has a weak acid, and its conjugate base present on your initial stage of the ice table, you need to stop immediately and do the Henderson-Hasselbalch. So instead of doing anything else with the ice table, write out the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation and then plug in the value for 0.5 and 0.1 into the appropriate spots in the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. You'll just have to also know what the pKa is for that weak acid. And just in case you're wondering, the 0.5 value and the 0.1 value won't change much because this is a weak acid and a weak base, so they barely react. And that's why we can plug both of those values into the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. The last situation that we have occurs during titrations. This is when you start off with a weak acid and then you add a strong base to solution. The reaction that takes place is HA with OH. However much OH is added, since it's a strong base, it's going to completely react with the acid. So if you add 0.2, you're gonna react with 0.2 moles of that weak acid. What that does is it creates a significant amount of that conjugate base. So now we have a weak acid and its conjugate base. So if you set up an ice table for this and you notice you get to this point, instead of doing the equation for Ka, write out the Henderson-Hasselbalch and then plug these values in to the appropriate spots.